Hi, I'm Bruce Devon. I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Amberfin, and today we're looking at the third part of our XML introduction. XML is the extensible markup language. And today we're going to talk about schemas. Now, schemas are a way of validating an XML document. In other words, how do you answer the question, is the syntax of my XML document right, and has it got all the correct elements that I need to exchange my metadata? Well, a schema is the way that you do that. And a schema is nothing more than an XML document. Now, a schema is too big to go on this screen, but what I'm going to show you is just some of the key elements that help you decode a schema when someone gives you a schema. Firstly, it's all about namespaces, because a schema typically pulls in different data types that you've defined that come from the XML community and come from third-party communities like the SMPTE. So one important thing about schemas is that you understand namespaces. The second important thing about schemas is that you're defining a target namespace. In other words, if you've got a document which is your favorite XML interchange, you need a namespace for that, so you're defining your target namespace. A schema basically says, I've got lots of data elements and they're all of different sorts of types. And you can define complex types, which are groups of different bits of data put together. And those groups typically are sequenced together because in XML, the order of your data is important. And once you've sequenced together all of those different elements, you can then do things like constrain them. You can restrict them to be strings or numbers or all sorts of other different things. A full introduction to XML schemas probably takes two or three hours, but have a play at w3schools.com. You can have a play with your own schema and see what it's like. And you can tell your friends how to get free training amberfin.com shorts. I'm Bruce Devlin. Thank you for watching.